Hey everyone, I'm Raven Dub, and you're watching The Broken Sword. This is episode 11. Last time we left off, uh, stuff happened. Now more stuff's gonna happen, so let's go. Right, weapon last time. Tripod, manuscript, it's a museum. Uh, I still don't remember. Talk to you. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Georgie. My friend. Uh, okay, nothing to talk about. Thanks for your help, Andre. You are welcome. Uh, how about you? Pardon me. Oui, monsieur. Anything new? Nah, you, you know, you're pretty like, useless. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Let's go this way. Anything new? Oh, that's right. I remember now. <clears throat> Basically, last time when I left off, I saved in Spain. We've already seen this. Uh, so it must have just taken me back a little bit. I think this is Spain. Right, what does this say? What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, Spain. Okay, well, I'm not going to read that because I'm awesome. I'm no student of architecture, but the little building looked old. I wondered if it was some sort of summer house. No, 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 no. I was just, I just wanted to look. Let's, let's go back first. You. Hi. Is this the Devastoncellus house? Oh, I, oh, I could tell the old coup was going to get trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether the house is not open to the public. This is the De Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. Tell me about the countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive gifts. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. <laughs> she hasn't won the lottery. <clears throat> um. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's it. The Countess has won the lottery, and I'm here to give her the check. Marvelous. May I see it? No. No. I mean, no, I have to deliver it to her in person. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. Oh, for crying out loud, why'd you leave me on then? To amuse myself. To make you look a fool. To make you go away. Ain't gonna work. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are Me. you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor. Except the pleasure of your absence. <laughs> the guy was obviously protecting the Countess against the whole world. But why? Love. Huh. Um... This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. Shake my hand? Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Do you recognize this man? No. Okay. I'll be going for now. <clears throat> Adios, senor. Bye. Yeah, just spray that spray all over me. That's fine. Great. Bye. The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. Hmm. I guess if we go in there, that guy will stop us, right? Hey, you. Yep. Yeah? What is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, <laughs> would you? Well, no, I guess not. 
Enjoy a little consideration. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So I guess this is just like Mr. Shiny. We just need to uh, do something with the hose. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. Why would that be an option? Or can I just sabotage it? Use this plaster, clog up the, po the hose? No. Nope. Uh, use that for anything. Why have I still got it? Oh, okay, I can. Huh. <laughs> Stand over here inconspicuously. My horse has stopped. Yeah? See, my horse never stops. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. <laughs> Did you have anything to do with it? Well, no. I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. Okay. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. <laughs> Can I not just, now that he's gone, tie the hose into a knot? Just, just extra, you know. Well, I'm going into the house. <laughs> talk to him, I'm not gonna. Oh, go on, I'll there talk was to him. There's no way that I wanted to draw attention to myself. Okay, well, this way. What's this? Can I dress up as the knight? The armor was about my size. I had a mental vision of putting it on and clanking off to see the countess, with the gardener hanging hopelessly on the outside trying to stop me. Apart from being stupid and unworkable, it was a great plan. <laughs> Okay, so am I not going to hide behind that? The armor was about my... I had a mental... Yeah, yeah, apart. yeah. Do I go upstairs? I guess I... Can I go upstairs? Let's go this way. Countess is probably upstairs. This looks like a dungeon. I'm going to... Whoa, okay. Let's not go that way. Let's go... Uh, let's go upstairs. What's the option? Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> hey, you. Who, me? Come here. Uh, hey. I know this doesn't look good, but I. Look, senor, all I want is a quiet life. A life without mad house breaking foreigners in it. Understand? Not really. Look, I just wanted to. Uh, use the bathroom. Leave now, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I think it's because I alerted the dogs. Um. Let's go back inside. Obviously. Uh, let me go upstairs. Don't catch me. Ah, crap. Hey, you on the stairs. <laughs> Oops. I know this doesn't look good, but I... Look, senor. <laughs> okay. Ella and a... Look, yeah, leave. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm... So maybe I don't go in that way just yet. Let's try going back the other way that I didn't go before. This way. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. Down below the estate, I could see the sea stretching away. It was a beautiful sight. And looked a lot like the scene from the manuscript. Going there. From a distance, I thought it might be a summer house. Close up, I wasn't so sure. Looks like a mausoleum of some kind. Crypt, family crypt. It's gonna be locked, right? Rat, it's locked. Do I have anything? Can I use this? <laughs> Break myself in. Rat, it's locked. Okay. Huh, <sighs> hmm. 
Okay, so I go back to the house. Or maybe I'm not supposed to be in Spain just yet. I'm pretty sure I've checked everywhere before. Why can't you run? Oh my gosh, this game will be over so much quicker. Right, okay, what do I do? I could see the gardener trying to figure out what was wrong with the hose. Time for a cat-footed stealthiness. <laughs> We've tried that already. Oh, okay, maybe I go over here and alert the dogs. There we go. Yep, and then I go behind this. There we go. Hey, oh, you. <laughs> he's so I me. know you are there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you dogs, I'm coming. <laughs> you can't see a thing. You don't. He doesn't know I'm here. Do you want to quickly move? He knew he was there. Uh, okay, what's this? What can I do? This? Anything? It was just a little utility room with no exit. Unless you counted the window, and I didn't. Okay. It was a small... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we go upstairs. Hey, my lady. Madre Dios. Who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? You know. This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they've planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... Here you are defending the night at the police station. <laughs> Very well. Please, sit down. Who are you playing chess with, anyway? Know this man? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, look at this. Uh, okay. Shake, hmm. shake my hand. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're talking. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for De Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Other early than yourself. Medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Oh, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Uh, that's one. Sorry. <laughs> its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. It's a key. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. Hmm. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. It's the keys, that's why. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... <laughs> hey, dude. You. Why, I feed you to the dogs. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dogs? But <laughs> my lady. Never without my permission. <laughs> yeah, Lopez. Senor Stobart, 
If I find that you're wasting my time, which I'm not, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Not into old ladies. Hey, Lopez. Oh, he's gonna unlock the door. I see. Maybe. Lopez, unlock the door, por favor. Yeah, Lopez. Hurry it this up. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it? A summer house? A mausoleum. Oh, I called it. Stop out. Oh, come with me. Hey, senor. Hey, well, Lopez. I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors, but I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. I don't trust you with the the key to the door if you're going to be outside. Wow, this is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place of the Devas Conchelos Templars. It's well maintained. Looks like the someone's been in here. my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come Fair enough. Once a week to say a prayer for them. Mine is nice. have a look around. Uh, by all means. Okay. The mausoleum contained five tombs for five of the Knights Templar, man size in marble. Hmm. May I ask you something? You may ask. Who exactly are these people? My <coughs> ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templars. Five ancestors in the Order. You must be very proud. Not five. Six. Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have no relevance. Well, it's connected with the curse of the Devasconcellos, isn't it? Yes, it is. Curse. I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay, Fair enough. Well, I'll leave it for now. Yeah, yeah, for now, bitch, but I'm going to talk to you about it later. You certainly know your history. What's your opinion of the Templars, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Huh? You are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the hospitalers or the brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for that. Do you recognize this man? No. I have never seen him before in my life. Uh, Who is he? I've got a couple of names for him, but they're probably false. Uh, it's He's true. the killer. No. His face is utterly unfamiliar. He's a maniac. Maniac on the floor. Shake my hands. hands. A formal bow will suffice. No one's the, the one person that will shake my hand or just get it. Um, yes. Does this lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing at all. Okay. Well, maybe this gem will. Uh, that is not a good idea. Fine, maybe this will. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Club Alamut. Not an establishment that I am familiar with, the young man. Okay. How about this dirty tissue from the sewer? Does this tissue mean anything to you? Where is this line of questioning going? <laughs> Nowhere helpful. Well, okay. Okay, thanks. Not at all. Let's look at some of this stuff. How about this? I don't trust that. Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot, I put it down again. <laughs> But the window. I couldn't climb up there without breaking something. Can I not use that? Now what? Feeling like... What? 
A big statuette of the Virgin Mary kept an eye on the place. Okay. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the left <clears> top. <throat> hey! It's a checkerboard! It's a chessboard. Is that anything else I can do? No. Close up over a check. But. Can I go out and get something from the chessboard and come back? Close up. I could over a check. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't care if. Let's talk to you first. May I ask you something? Yeah. 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 There we go. Okay. Uh, Is the Virgin Mary really the right person to be sharing a mausoleum <laughs> five nights? You are showing your ignorance, Senor Stoba. <laughs> the Templars were dedicated to the Virgin Mary. What's the story with the glass chessboard? Uh, glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern, purely decorative, I'm sure. You're sure there you've never been... missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. You've, you've ne in your whole 105 years of existence, you've never thought to put some of the chess pieces on there? The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What? possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, mm -hmm. and the gaps are for... Chess pieces. Stobart. You cannot mean... Yes. This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? Yes. Let's do it. Come on. Let's just, just break the boundaries and do it. I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. But, you know, you're still missing that one piece. I'm not sure I if you need a complete set. The Templars left a puzzle here. And in all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle. Idiots. It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? Oh, calm down. has had a good long run, but it ends here and now. You might blow a gasket. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hole down and listen! Get your ass in there, Lopez. And get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! But don't move the pieces. Now hurry! Hurry, bitch! This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. <laughs> this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. Me either. It's good to see you happy. Mm. Happy? You know, I think I am. Don't have a heart attack, seriously. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? But he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? So we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Was it just me, or did half of her monologue go quiet? Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady, calm <laughs> yourself, Lopez. I Hush your gums, you Lopez. Are pure. Very well, my lady. Give my lady the... seems to trust you, but yes. you don't. No. Senor. Thank you, bitch. Bye. 
I want that to calf it to back. It fits in your sobot. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Where well, hey. Oh, okay, puzzle time. Hmm. Uh, each chess piece must be placed in corresponding holes. Okay. Touch any unplaced chess piece and it will turn to reveal Oh wait, hold on. Uh, it, it will turn to reveal a pattern on its base. Likewise, touch any hole on the board and it will show a pattern. Uh, uh -huh. If you try to put a piece into the wrong hole, then it will jump back to the side. Okay. Uh. What? No. Hmm. Okay. Red, yellow, blue, green. Red, yellow, blue, green. I forgot which one it was now. Is it this one? Yeah. Red, yellow, blue, green. That's the one. You go there. Green, blue, red, black. Green, blue, red, black. Green, blue, red, black. Green. Oh, wait. Yes. Is it this one? Yeah. Green, yellow, blue. Green, green, yellow, red, blue. Green. Uh huh. How about you? Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, blue, red. What? What? Ah. Green. Stop! There we go. Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, blue, red. Okay, yes. Just shut up. Yeah, I was right. We... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I wasn't right. Okay, I thought I was missing a piece. Yellow, blue, red. What? Yeah, yeah, I know. Stop! Fucking... Come here. Red, green, blue, black. Red, green. Blue, red, green. Red, black, green. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Fucking move. There we go. With the red pieces in place, the square bases fit onto the white pieces. I just had to figure out where to place them. I just had to figure out where to place them. <laughs> Why did you repeat yourself? <laughs> Right, what now? Ah. Uh, what? I didn't. <laughs> what have I got to do? Bingo. I mean, that took way too long. I thought the queen was the king. Senor Stovart, look! What is that? It's not... It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stovart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos. Missing for almost 700 years. Right here the whole time. Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, go ahead. Live a little. Huh. Are you sure? This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. Go ahead. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. <laughs> 
So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh, no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice. But there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Mm -hmm. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar's secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? <laughs> I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? Hey, the Countess entrusted me with this the is strictly and business, remember? For her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. What's happening with Andre? Is there something going on oh. between you and What bit we have yep. so We've already talked about that. We're back Khan. Do you think the assassin was responsible? I don't think the I've, it was We've done this as well. Um anything else? Chalice. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. You've got it on you? I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. Yeah. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one prawn shot of a paella. <laughs> the Countess is a fine lady. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that Countess. Why? Are you serious? She's old enough to be my grandmother. <laughs> that smile. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're done. I better get back to the quest. What do I do now? I guess we go to the museum. Go to the airport with no? Okay. I guess we're going to that place for the, the, the people and the things. Anyway, I've been playing for way too long. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Broken Sword Part 11. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again, and I'll see you then. Bye!